bulletproof. Damn piece of shit. I wonder if you're not being overly hospitable to our hostage. Uh-oh. You saw that? Oh. oh! Don't you try to put one over oh. on me! Oh! Yeah, the floor! Hey, where is it? Uh. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, this is unique. Let's talk about writing Bean. Hit it! Riding Bean the OVA is an action comedy anime that premiered in 1989 and was released by Animigo. Animigo also released another anime, Mental Skin Panic, Manog 01. Riding Bean is also based on the manga with the same name. The VHS, which is video cassette, if you Gen Z's don't know, this is the way we consume home media before there was DVDs, Blu-rays, and digital. So if you don't know, now you know. Anyway, the VHS came out in 1990 with subtitles. The English version came out in 1993. Then it was re-released on DVD in 2002. I found this anime on YouTube like I did Apocalypse Zero, but Ride It Beam is leagues better than Apocalypse Zero. That's my humble opinion, and you are more welcome to hate me for it. So without further ado, let's get into the story of Ride and Beam, the OVA. The OVA begins with a bank robbery. Actually, I wanted to see how this bank robbery went down before the anime started. Because there was a girl who was stripped naked. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. And intriguing. Anyway, the bank robbers get away in a getaway car with the driver being also known as a notorious road buster. One of the robbers was disappointed with his partner that they only got a bunch of $10 bills. I got a question. Do banks and malls don't have a lot of money of sorts? Or was the robber being a little bit ungrateful? Bean manages to lure the police to get away. Bean takes his money that he's owed and cuts ties with them due to the fact that the one in charge was using kids as accomplices. However, it seems that Bean was sort of deceived by one of the bank robbers as the man reveals to be a woman. The next morning, Bean's partner, Irene Riley Vincent, gives the bad news that they don't have any more jobs for the month unless they lower their price, which Bean detested. However, their luck might change. A young man by the name of Morris shows up with a girl named Chelsea Grimwood. Morris wants to hire them. They need to hire help due to them escaping from their kidnappers. We are introduced to Percy Bacharach, a police detective that had many run-ins with Bean in the past. He finally feels that he has the car that will finally take Bean down. However, the police chief tells him to drop the case of the Roadbuster to work on the kidnapping of daughter of President George Grimwood of Grimwood Company, Chelsea. Percy takes it well. You gotta be kidding! Why do I have to work a lousy kidnapping case? The police chief isn't really concerned for the girl's safety due to the fact that they're mentioning of how much taxes that George Grimwood pays. However, the police chief makes a point if the daughter is killed and Grimwood ceases to pay taxes, the police funding will be pulled and Percy's case on Bean will be closed indefinitely. Meanwhile, Bean asks why Morris didn't get to the police, which is a very smart question and raises skeptics on Bean's part. Morris states that the kidnappers have an informant inside the police force and he fears that they will never make it home and Bean was their only choice. Riley checks out Morris' story and it seems to be true and Bean takes the job. However, they are ambushed by the presumed kidnappers and presumably kills Morris. Bean is unharmed and he manages to save Chelsea. As the three leave, it is revealed that it was all the rules and Morris is actually the same woman that hired Bean as the driver for the bank robbery, now identified as Timberlane. Percy finds out Bean has Chelsea which gives him the means to go after Bean and bring him in. It is revealed that George Grimwood was kidnapped also and is being watched by Timberlane's lover, Carrie, which is a minor. More on that later. Meanwhile, Bean makes it to Grimwood Mansion and is accused of kidnapping Chelsea. Bean tries to reason with them saying that more sent them, but they said they don't have anyone by their name. One of the guards insults Bean's car and he makes a quick escape. Bean tries to let Chelsea out, but them being shot at made them forget that plan. Percy and the cops show up and charges Bean with kidnapping. To prove his innocence, for now, he leaves with the girl. Later, Bean figures out that they were set up by Simmerling, using them as a decoy to escape Scott free with the $2 million ransom. Bean and Riley are intrigued and go after Simmerling and wants to get even. A high speed chase ensues and it catches the attention of Percy and the rest of the cops. Bean manages to lose Percy and had his car totaled, much to Percy's disappointment. Robert! Block the road with your cars if you have to and stop them! Bean corners Summerling in a parking garage. She tried to make a deal with him to escape by giving him half a million dollars, but Bean declines. 
Carrie pleads and tries to give the whole two million, which Summerlin promptly uses Carrie as a human shield to get Bean to surrender, which he does. And Summerlin wasted no time and shoots him in the head, but it only stunned him. One of Simmerling's goons tried to kill Chelsea, but Rally managed to save Chelsea by using misdirection and gets a shot off into the goon's head. Simmerling repeatedly runs over Bean, but it only makes him laugh. Feeling that they are no match for Bean, Carrie tells Bean of where to find the $2 million. Feeling portrayed, Simmerling tried to shut Carrie up by attempting to kill her, but I want to say the gunpowder ignited an explosion from the gas leak from the total car, killing Simmerling. Feeling grateful for Bean, Mr. Grimwood gave Bean the $2 million. Bean convinced Carrie to ride with them to safety. The anime ends with Rally suggesting that they move, but Bean says that they had too much fun where they are as they ride off to elude Percy and the cops. You know, looking at this OVA, I swore I've seen this plotline before. A notorious driver that has a more high ground that gets caught up and accused of some mess and now has to go around to try to get his life back. I think that some of the plot points of the movie Driver was loosely based on Rally Bean, and that's okay. I like both. And I feel also that even though Driver is directly used some plot points from Riding Bean, it still stands on its own. As for Riding Bean, I like that it came out in the 80s. Like I said before, 80s anime was on some wild shit, I tell you. I would love to see more of this, however, the manga remains unfinished due to the closure of the Japanese magazine comic that I will not try to pronounce because I tried to pronounce it and I butchered it really bad. So I'm just going to put the name in the doggone video. Anyway, that's a damn shame that the manga remains unfinished due to closure of the magazine or whatnot because the OVA alone caught my attention and I immediately wanted more. The manga is included in the revised final volume of the Gunsmith's Cats manga. However, Riding Bean is a backdoor pilot to the manga Gunsmith Cats, which also has its own OVA with three episodes, so I will check that out ASAP. The characters in this OVA are pretty unique and cool. Some of these characters' motivations want me to question their morals as human beings, if I can be perfectly honest. So let's start off with Percy. Percy is obsessed with Bean and on catching him. He was willing to let Chelsea Grimwood get killed if it meant catching Bean. Bean was had eluded Percy many times, which makes me ask how long has Bean been on the streets and was helping criminals get away. I also wanted to know how much money and damages did both him and Percy cause for the city. How much hours of police work were tendered trying to catch Bean? I guess there was a reason why the police chief was so keen on getting Chelsea back alive, so have George Grimwood pay taxes that from the police department. But, you know, that's just me, but, you know, Percy has a bad obsession, and he needs to get a psych eval ASAP <laughs> if he doesn't want this job to get personal, or he ends up crossing that line to get other people hurt. Well, maybe he probably already crossed that line, and they just don't give a damn. But... We'll probably figure out more if he's on the Gunsmith Cats OVA, so be sure to look out for that in the future. Rally is Bean's partner and confidant. Not only that, she is a master marksman. Although she is a supporting character in the OVA, she is the main character in Gunsmith Cats, but more on that in the future. Simmerling is a master of disguise and manipulator. She was often one step ahead and didn't care who she hurt in the process. It was implied that she was in an inappropriate relationship with her accomplice Carrie. It looks as though that Simmerling was also abusive to Carrie, but Carrie still loved her. This is due to Stockholm Syndrome. Simmerling was willing to kill Carrie to shut up about the money. So there is no limit of what she's willing to do to get ahead. However, Karma is a deadly bitch and Simmerling met her end by her own doing. Bean is a superhuman with an unknown origin. He can't get hurt from gunfire, being hit by vehicles, fatal blows to the head, etc. So there's no telling of what his limits are. He is very sensitive about his car and if you didn't or even talk bad about his car, he will make you regret it. He does have a court of honor and doesn't cross the line if children are involved. However, he doesn't like to be kind and the only payment that he's willing to accept is your life. Now there is a version of Bean in Gunsmith's Cat's manga, but I haven't seen it yet. Once I do, we will get into that next time. This OVA overall, I recommend watching if you will push past the bad voice acting. Let me know in the comments if you've seen it or not. Also, your thoughts on it. I watched this many times before I wrote this review and it didn't have me cringe at all. The story is solid for what it is. So, that's all for today. If there is an anime, special video idea, movie, comic book, TV show, or video game you want me to check out, please let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you all next time.